Today, we're going to go down the culture route and give you a, uh, a game show, a panel show. The UK has a lot of panel shows. We're talking about TV shows, if you didn't know what a panel show is, uh, that consists of mainly comedians trying to be witty um, and deliver a good argument for something. And uh, today's panel show is called Room 101. And this is basically bringing suggestions that you think are negative or an, uh, that you find annoying and you want to ban them from life. And I thought, who would be good at this? And then it dawned on me that I'd need to reach out to Martin from Rock and Roll English. So, hello, Martin. Thank you very much for being here. Hello, Charlie. Thanks for having me here. I noticed you said there the panellists try to be witty, so I'm going to do my best, OK? Good, good. <laughs> I cannot guarantee anything, but I'll do my best. Room 101, guys. Imagine this is like a hole um, that is covered by like a bank vault and it, a, it's it's a trap basically no one's allowed in or out after that thing goes in okay so uh martin what is your first item or thing that you want to put in room 101 so i have got a couple i don't want to start too heavy okay so i'm gonna go for something a bit lighter just okay to start with okay, okay. so the first one i'm going to put in room 101 is fizzy or sparkling water okay okay fizzy or sparkling water can you tell us why you'd like to ban this thing i, I mean so if you're thirsty it doesn't even quench my thirst i don't even feel like i've had something to drink water as well i kind of feel like water's great yeah it's been there since the start just normal water okay and then someone just thought well you know what water's great but why don't I try and change it? Don't change it. I feel like it's, you know, the wheel. Okay, so you've got the wheel. It's round. It does a great job. And I kind of feel that was the same with water. Water was doing a great job. Okay. So now using my wheel example, it would be like someone saying, why don't we make this square? And then saying, yeah, no, that's a good idea. I thought you were going to Just be quite leave literal and, and say, imagine putting bubbles in the wheel. <laughs> Yeah, no, that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, no, it, it's like the the wheel's fine. It's doing a great job. It's doing what it's there for. Just leave it. Why Why make it fizzy? It's It just has no sense. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. Um, immediately when you when you say that, it makes me think of the first moment at dinner when you sit down and they oh, give you exactly. that, that question. <laughs> and to be fair, it does create a bit of tension doesn't it exactly unnecessarily because the the still water was doing a great job before so it's just causing problems for everyone for example my wife loves it so we always need to get oh. two bottles because oh. i i won't touch it I, I would rather die of thirst than drink <laughs> fizzy water <laughs> This episode is sponsored by the British English Podcast Academy, which is a language learning membership programme that I have created. So here's an ad for it. It's a really good place to improve your English. I just love the way it is structured. I listen to the listening part of the lessons while I'm walking my baby and then when I get home I do the practice, I practice the vocabulary and so on. So what I like about the academy is the structure and it has flashcards. Guys, it has flashcards because it is time consuming to do your own flashcards. The academy does it for you so you can just learn all the vocabulary. What I like from the academy is uh, I can learn English expressions and English phrases uh, that are spoken in daily basis. I love listening to the podcast because they are funny. Sessions are short, so I can do every day a little bit. And so it's a no-brainer. 
It's a very good option、uh, because I don't have too much time in my daily life. So when I can, I just turn on my computer and, and then I start. And, and I really love a lot with your examples. So congratulations because it's a very good platform to learn English. So summon it all up. Using the academy, you will merge your English. So join. In now, and you will definitely benefit from it. Good luck. If you want to come for a good laugh while learning, join the academy. I'd like to see you running a marathon and then they hand you cups of carbonated water. <laughs> But that's what I mean. So, for example, if you're running a marathon, really, who would actually drink that? Who would actually drink that? That would just be stupid. Why? Because it doesn't quench your thirst enough. It's just, it just shows how it's just unnecessary. Your wife? <laughs> I'm not actually 100% sure. I must admit, I haven't seen her running any marathons lately.、Um, but so, yeah, we'll have to see. I'll, I'll just enter in, her into the London Marathon. And when she gets to mile 21, <laughs> see, see how it goes. Some people think that it cleanses the palate a little bit, it sort of neutralizes、oh, right. the mouth. From the previous taste to the next taste. I think I've heard that. I haven't Googled it, but what do you right, think? Right, okay. I've, I've not, but I must admit, you're, you're not filling me with confidence with your scientific research here. of, I think I've heard that.、Um, but I mean, I think with anything these days, though, you can always find some kind of study that supports it. I remember seeing once a study that had been done that said, Drinking one glass of red wine has the same effect as going to the gym for an hour. And, like, no, seriously, you, I'll, I'll try and find it. But that's what I mean. You can just get a study to say anything these did, days. Did you see where it was,、um, where the research came from? Like, <laughs> what university?、Uh, the, the, the only reason I saw it was because a Um, a doctor that I know that I'm friends with on Facebook shared it and was basically saying, I can't believe this article was actually being published.、Um, so I didn't go into too much, I didn't do too much research into it, I must admit. But I do think you can find studies that, that say, for example, I don't know, if, if you drink 10. 10 beers every day, then you're more intelligent. Like, it's you can find things to say to support whatever argument you want. But the fact is, still water was doing a great job. Like, you know, it comes from the springs and stuff. God made it. I mean, God didn't make fizzy water, did he? Well, if you, if you really want to go down that route, I suppose if you, if you believe that, didn't God make carbon dioxide? I'm not actually sure. I'd. Can't well, actually, I haven't read the Bible in a while because at school we, ha we had to read the Bible because I went to a Catholic school, but、um, I definitely didn't see that. I saw that like God made heaven and earth,、um, and yeah, didn't quite go into the detail as, as、uh, carbon dioxide. You didn't see the footnotes, no. <laughs> <laughs>、um, yeah, fair enough. I, I do think it's a silly suggestion, and it, it does provide awkwardness when you're wanting to just get on with the conversation at the beginning of、exactly. a dinner.、Exactly. And it divides the table because, as it, you it just pointed out, your wife wants one thing, you want another thing. Yeah. And some people find it a bit snobby like, no, I'll just、mm. have tap water. And then other people are like, what? You'll have tap water? You disgust me. What? Would you go for bottled or tap now we're talking about that? So, before I, I would have gone for tap, but after living in Italy for so long, that tap water is kind of considered the same as just a suicide note.、Um, <laughs> I would now go for bottled water. And in fact, even in the UK now, 
I, I still drink bottled water. Although we do have one of those, um, what are they called, with like the filter things. So you put that, so you get the tap water and you've got one of those filters. What, you're bringing then... this to the restaurant? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I never leave the house without it. You can't, can you? <laughs> <laughs> like this massive jug which has like a litre of water. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeah. halfway there it's spilt come on we've got to go back yeah of course i, ca- I carry it everywhere um, no but so we have that at home or i drink bottled water so now yeah i would actually probably be a bit of a snob and turn my nose up at tap water um, only because as well lots of people in italy told me lots of things about tap water and so so now i would definitely bottled definitely yeah yeah, that is actually relatively interesting for people who come over to the UK and then they assume that everyone will have bottled water. It's quite normal to have tap water in a restaurant in the UK. And and we do sometimes judge others that don't feel comfortable with tap water. You know, the judgy people. <laughs> Not me, of course. But yeah. Um, OK, so do I give you permission to enter this into Room 101? I, I've also heard something about it helping with hiccups. As in helping prevent hiccups, not helping with them. Yeah, I've not heard that one, but I do have a, a guaranteed way to get rid of hiccups, okay, if you're interested. I can't believe this isn't a bigger thing. And I, I learned this in school with a teacher. It's it's crazy, but it, I guarantee 100% like, it will work. Before you tell me, I feel like everyone has one up their sleeve. And then when you're in desperate need, they tell you it and it doesn't work. And then they say, no. oh, no, but it, it works in a different situation. <laughs> This is a this is a breakthrough. I'm not sure if I should get some kind of patent before sharing this, but it 100% works. It's not sometimes. It, if you do it 100 times, it, it will work 100 times. What you need to do, you need to get someone to help you, two, two-man job, oh, wow. one person to help you. Yeah, so you and the other person are the two people involved, okay? okay? So you, if so you, you live got alone, hiccups. you're screwed. It's a, it's a problem, yeah. So you've got the hiccups. This is quite good for the... If people are watching this on YouTube, you have to put your hands above your head like okay. this. The other person puts the drink like in into your mouth, okay? And you you're drinking like imagine you're drinking now, like, and you have to slowly, really, really slowly lower your arms. Really, really, really slowly. Keep drinking. Lower your arms. When you get to the bottom. You will not have hiccups anymore. The reason this works as well, if you're interested, let's get a bit scientific, is because it helps you breathe naturally. Because when you're doing that, you're like... And this is why the scaring thing, apparently, this is why people say it works. Because if I really scare you, you go... "Ah!" (sighs) You will start breathing again normally. So that's that's, that's it. So next time you have the hiccups... I'll try it. I'll give it a go and yeah. I will let you know immediately whether it's a, a game changer or whether you're taking me for a ride. No, I think I, you're th- taking me for a ride right now because it seems this like is a silly what, thing. This is what everyone says. And when I've said this to friends, they said, no, you're going to throw the drink on my face or <laughs> throw it down me. Or... <laughs> but I swear to you, it it works a hundred <laughs> times out of a hundred. Okay. The, the key is to do it slowly. If you just throw your arms down, then it's not going to work. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I will, I'll give it a go, but stop distracting us from why we're here. Room 101. Uh, well, I was just trying to show that your reason of the hiccups is not, is, we've, we've got a traditional thing that works much better than fizzy yeah, water. Good so. point. Yeah. Good point. Okay. So it doesn't need yeah. to be there for hiccups. Um, it does it does make the uh, meal time awkward. I would say that it does sometimes make me feel like I'm having a special meal, but I would say you could just have prosecco or champagne if you really want to feel special. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's For that reason, more special. Yeah. Let's put it in room one hundred and one. Let's throw it in there. Done. <laughs> Boom. Thank you very much, Martin. Thanks a lot, Charlie. It's been a pleasure. If you want to listen to the full hour-long episode, then head over to the British English Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your preferred podcast app.